you a nickel, I bet you I win. I bet you a nickel that you forgive in. What the matter, honey? Afraid you lose. Do Have you been here before? Say what you choose. I bet you a Come nickel on, princess. that you forget forgive. your troubles. I bet you a nickel even raise it a time. I always win my money, you can bet on that. I always take a tip and keep it under my bets. I'm gonna take a breather. What? No. Sorry. I'm not yet in the dancing mood. Come on, Sarge. Dance with me. Why not? I bet you sign on the dotted line. I taught myself on the icebox stool. <laughs> then you better let me lead for Pete's sake. <laughs> You're the best. I mean it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What do you know? We got nothing to compare. <gasps> I know what I like. Hey, we're not alone. Don't mess up a good thing. You want some? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Champagne cocktail. Very fancy. You see that girl over there? Which one, princess? The redhead in the burgundy dress. She was pummeling me with questions about Vic Mew. More jobs are glamorous to a girl. And this was more than just idle chat. That girl was after something. hours after shift and before the show. And Ivan's working. I'm meeting Teresa for a bite. Maybe we'll just see at the pictures? <laughs> Miss McRae, how about you? Sorry, Mrs. Gorman, I got movie plans. Saboteur is opening tonight. Lest we forget what these brave boys have sacrificed so that we can all go to the pictures. I'll get down later this week. The boys will be waiting. Oh, God, you made it, Princess. Onward and upward, Spence. Good evening, Sergeant Hill. Evening. Glad you could join us. Uh, do you know Vera Burr? Oh, our paths have crossed at Vic Mew. Do you know how much longer you'll be with us? Until they ship us someplace else. Well, you must be itching to get overseas. I hear it's three men to every woman. <laughs> that will be fun. So, uh, what's the dope on your spy gal? I've told security everything I know. Now it's up to them. Well, no mystery here. Five reels of Robert Cummings. Sign <laughs> me up. That man is one hunk of heartbreak. Our new security man, Clifford Perry, is no slouch either. That hair, those ties, that accent. Yeah, he must be over 35. There's nothing wrong with a distinguished gentleman who knows his way around. Oh? These days, as long as he's got all of his parts and some of his teeth. Vera, really? <laughs> Just think about all those boys who lost their lives in Dieppe, put off living till tomorrow. They have no tomorrows left. I am not interested in Clifford Perry. I'm perfect. Get you back out there. No harm to the old ticker. Mrs. Corbett? Oh, good evening, ladies. Are you here alone? I was uh, supposed to meet friends, but they canceled. Sit with us. Mm. I mean, it doesn't look like Kate will show. Oh, is she still at the hospital? Well, then we'll scooch over. Mm. We'll move down. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, girls. Aren't these good seats? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a fine view here. Good night, Mrs. Good night, Mrs. Corbett. Good night, Mrs. Corbett. Good night, Mrs. Corbett.
Here and I go this way. See you later. All right. Night. Good night, ladies. Bye. Good night. I love that. I love that. Come on. <laughs> That's a pretty good movie. Who cares about Bob Cummings? The Priscilla Lane is ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Oh, what happened to you? I know what I like. Oh, well, I still do. But I'm not dead. <laughs> hey, girls. You looking for some company? We're fine, handsome. Thanks all the same. Hey, I'm talking to you. Hey! I hear you wax do it for a nickel. What's the matter? You only do guys in uniform? Back off, creep. Ignore him. What are you, a couple bull daggers? No, what's it to you? Betty. Well, then I got something to change your mind. Hey, hey, look, hey! Uh, hey! Uh, hey. Uh, creep! Uh, oh. Betty! Come on. I'm calling the police! Come on. Get, you get yours, Miss. What were you thinking? What? That creep put his paws on you. Rule one is don't go looking for trouble. I have got a lot at stake here, and you've got a lot to learn. I keep my head down, and I keep my business to myself. Do you understand? Teresa! Wait! Must mean I haven't completely blown it. But I know how it is. You got something going the first time in your life, and you want to shout it from the rooftops. Aren't I allowed to be happy? Just because there's women everywhere, you think nobody notices us, Betty? They don't, Teresa. I will not risk my career. Not even for you. Hey. I'll uh, take a beer. You know what I'm saying? What do you know? It's the whack in her snack. Hey, whack. On your way, boys. Get your face, Malty. Watch it, you. Betty. What, tough girl? This is your fun for the night? Shut up, Betty. Pathetic. Betty. Hey. Did I forget you? Ugh. Now you're gonna get it. No, get your hands off her. <laughs> my God. Get your hands off of her. Head back. It needs the ice. I want to see. Who are those guys? We didn't swap calling cards. Called us dirty names, and Slugger here couldn't walk away. You're blaming me for this, Teresa? I'll get some more ice. Trying to be a hero. I'm trying to live my life. I can't believe they just attacked you. What are you saying, Princess? I asked for it? I deserve my licks? No, of course not. Are you okay to go into work? Yeah, I'm okay. Though I can do without all the gawking and gum flapping. People talk, Betty. You can't stop it. Yeah, I know. And I like to think the worst. They look at me, they'll see a girl who's crossing lines. Have you told Mrs. Corbett? She's always saying that I gotta be a role model. Until she gets a load of this. You better get in. Yep. Time to face the music. Miss McCray.
It is despicable. Here, we have decent, hardworking women who are giving their all for the war effort, and yet they can't walk this city streets without interference from good-for-nothing layabouts. It's a disgrace. I hope, on the behalf of all of us, that you gave those beggars every bit as good as you got. I certainly did my best, ma'am. <laughs>